Hi, uh, my name is James Leone. <clears throat> I'm a certified pub public accountant that's licensed to practice um, in the state of California, United States of America. It is November 14th, 2010. And what I'm going to try to do is um, present in a video form here <clears throat> the results of some research that I've done on Dr. Charles Morton the second principal librarian of the British Museum that lived from 1716 to 1799. Um, what I'm going to try to do is a lot of different things and hopefully I won't be trying to do so much that I can't get a cohesive message out. Um, I'm struggling with this but I'm going to try my best to um, break this into parts to make it um, more digestible and more usable for people to um, to actually use. <clears throat> I made a first run attempt at this and I wasn't very satisfied with the way it turned out. So I guess there's a number of different subjects that really revolve around <clears throat> the main subject, Charles Morton himself. There were Charles Morton's life events and then there's just basically the genealogy where living people can actually relate to Dr. Charles Morton in a more personal way than just an item of historical interest. And there are a number of uh, Dr. Charles Morton descendants out there, and um, I'm going to try to cover his uh, genealogy as well. My uh, research focus to start with was gene genealogically based, and so I, but I, but I have uh, taken very extensive efforts to collect as much information as I can and as possible about Dr. Charles Morton rather than just um, having it just be a, <laughs> a list of names and birth and death dates and things of that nature. Um, to give you a little background of why I'm doing this or what my relationship may or may not be with Dr. Charles Morton, I have no at all direct or indirect <clears throat> relationship um, as far as you know, blood relationship with Dr. Charles Morton whatsoever. I just happened to work for a descendant of of, of his, um, and um, at, at my accounting firm, the owner of Morton and Associates Inc. is Jack Morton, and Jack Morton is the grandson of to what. Um, most people that are familiar with the Calgary Stampede, in fact, there's a picture that Jack has in his office of the Calgary Stampede, may have heard of a wild horse, Jack Morton, and um, that is my my employer, Jack Morton's grandfather. And wild horse Jack Morton was the grandson of the Cana one of the Canadian branches of the Morton families, this specific branch, uh, immigrant ancestor Edward Morton, Dr. Edward Morton, who was in turn grandson of this Dr. Charles Morton, that who is the main subject of what I'm going to cover here. But my <clears throat> scope and purpose and my hope for this whole thing is that not only will I do an adequate job revealing as much as that I know of Dr. Charles Morton and his actual importance but also to relate that to uh, genealogically so other people um, that actually do have a connection or a descendancy from Dr. Charles Morton will be able to make that connection and hopefully this video will be part of it. There is a Wikipedia article that I authored that has evolved over time. It used to be wider in scope than um, what appears there now. It's under Charles Morton in print, and then in parentheses librarian. It looks much like this, but this is in more or less in the form. This is more or less the document that I wrote before. It started out where I where I pretty much um, it had a geneolo genealogical focus mostly, and a lot of the, a lot of the evidence I present is just to show that he was married three, maybe four times in his life. But it also has to to do that. I had to get into a lot of details about him and his family and various life events of him and his wives uh, to, to show, just to show there may have been three or four wives. I also, beyond that, went into um, 
the little bit of information I had at the time about his son. And then I went to his grandchildren and I walked down the line down to Wild Horse Jack. <clears throat> but since then, that, that part has been eliminated. Some basic background on genealogically on Dr. Charles Morton's family. In general, so far as I know, uh, Dr. The only main um, branch, <laughs> there are a number of Dr. Charles Morton descendants, but the only main branch that kept the, that still have the Morton name that comes from him, uh, derived from the ancestors that went to Canada uh, through Dr. Edward Morton, and then Dr. Edward Morton had a son that subsequently uh, immigrated over to Australia <coughs> and um, that he that the immigrant ancestry of Australia apparently has a very large family that I wish I had more details about and if anybody happens to see this and they happen to want to do a YouTube video about the Australian branch I, I would love to have that added to this this whole collection here so of all the number of subjects that I'm going to cover here one thing I'm going to try to do is just in general cover his just his life events. I'm also going to try to cover the supporting documentation that I have for him, but it is so large. Uh, the amount of documents I have are so large, it's hard to just dig it out and, <laughs> and have it neatly placed on the counter ready to present because there is so much. Um, some of my so sources include um, a Gentleman's Magazine, Annual Register, and about 50% of these, the items that I have, at least, if not more, came out of Google Books. If it wasn't for Google Books, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. Um, I'm going to try to explain how I was able to draw the connection with the help of many other people. Alone, I would never have been able to do this. Uh, this is definitely a team effort. Um, uh, between the, the way I was able to draw the connection between Dr. Edward Morton, immigrant ancestor in Canada, and um, him being a member of the family of Dr. Charles Morton in, uh, in Britain. And um, that should be it. So I'm tackling a number of things. One is just Charles Morton the man in isolation. And the other thing is the, are the genealogical connections. And the very interesting family that Dr. Charles Morton um, had. I'm going to do it in a number of parts and I'll probably have several parts. I did a first attempt at this, but I wasn't very happy with it, so I'm going to try to redo it again. And over time, <coughs> I'll find a fact or two that I could add in to the whole timeline. But I have a pretty comprehensive um, outline of his of his life, and I'm not just going by the Dictionary of National uh, Biography. I'm, uh, what I've gathered pretty much has come from sources that are a little more primary, a little closer or that are at arm's length, that is the author of this source you know, had no stake in lying, which is, which is an important principle in, in genealogical or any kind of research that you're doing. Okay, so I'm going to stop this first part, and then I'll go to the second part, which will be just basically an outline of Dr. Charles Morton's life. <coughs> Maybe I'll dig into some of the details I present with some of the source documents and I hope I don't miss um, any of the things that need to be added to my Wikipedia article that I haven't landed in there yet. <clears throat>